Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of Quest for Creative and I have absolutely no bloody clue what's going on with the sky. I really really don't. I know if I hit T the sky goes normal and if I go away it does that. I think it's a problem with Wiala uh that uh what the thing that tells me what all the blocks are. Oh, it might also be a problem with me hitting F1 at some point in time. Yes, okay, yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> I didn't even realize I didn't have my GUID up. Okay, so today, well, yesterday, we built, or we tested some withering. You know, we killed some withers, and it was a fun episode. It was an entertaining episode. Um, and then after i stopped recording i did go off and start playing with uh, other swords um yeah they didn't turn out exactly as i expected so we're gonna have to be doing some tests on that but that's gonna be a later thing i'm not gonna worry about that today today we are going to do something slightly different than what we've been doing what we've been doing is abusing mods and combinations of mods to be seriously overpowered. Today, we are going to be using a mod in exactly the way that it was intended to be used. Yeah. Um, so that's why I have this set up. It's another power source. Um, so obviously it's just like this set up, except it looks a hell of a lot cleaner. <laughs> I'm not joking. When I put this together, I was I was actually thinking. My mind was working. And I'm like, damn, I should have recorded this. This was much, much clearer and much more easy to understand than the last time. Hmm. All right, so today we are going to be looking at this stuff here. Advanced Genetics. And anybody who knows this mod probably already knows exactly where I'm going with it. Uh, let's see. I've already started some stuff up here open this up and we have a dna analyzer but that is actually worthless because we need to go scrape some cells now i've never done this before i have not tested this i have only fiddled with the wiki i've only read the wiki um so i don't know what use any of this stuff is Bloop. okay Skin sc scales. Skin scales. Okay, so for the record, cows have scales. Yeah. Didn't know that. What else do we got? Uh, let's see. We have cows. I don't know. This is going to be a learning experience for all of us because, like I said, I've never done this before. I have rendering issues like normal. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a sheep. I'm going to have to do this with mobs and stuff. Bloop. Whee! All right, so we have scales of a cow, scales of a sheep. So we do know where they're coming from. Cool. I don't have to keep them organized. And I want a pig just for shits and giggles. Bloop. All right, now I got pig, cow, sheep, and pig. So let's go throw these in our chest for just a moment. Ooh. Let's see, throw that there, throw that there, throw that there. Pause for a moment. Let's see, I, need, I got skin scales. I'm not kidding when I say I have the wiki up in the other window right now, and I'm reading the wiki. Uh, put these skin scales into a DNA analyzer. That's this guy right here. So let's get our skin scales back. And all of the advanced genetics uh, machines need power. And they can run off of a generator that you can put in. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Uh, yeah, they'll run off of a uh, like coal generator, a uh, combustion generator that you can make with advanced genetics. But I figured, why? They run off of uh, 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 th or thermal expansion. Yes, there we go. They run off of thermal expansion power too, so why don't I just use what I have 
and go ape with it. All right, so let's see what our cow does. This is not fast, but then again, nothing else in this game is fast, so that's all good. Um, let's take a quick look around. Uh, when I built this guy, which, again, I, it's the cleanest I've built anything, honestly. It looks so pretty, at least from my point of view. Uh, but I decided to use rubber saplings this time around. Can I get... There we go. Okay, so... Oh, hi. Uh, but I wanted rubber. So I decided that's exactly what I was going to make this one out of was rubber. Um, I could make it out of any of the trees. Birch. Uh, probably jungle. I'm mildly curious about that now because jungle trees kind of grow high. And with them set up like this, we could grow 4x4 four four trees. Or no, 4x4 four four trees. God damn it. Two by two trees. Um, so, yeah. Um, not sure about that. But one thing I am getting, I am getting rubber saplings, and I'm getting sacred rubber saplings. I don't know if they do anything different. They seem to plant exactly the same, and they seem to come out exactly the same. I don't know. So I don't know what the difference is. Okay, so we have a cell of a cow, and we have organic drop. Now I'm going to assume these organic drops are used later on, so I'm going to keep them. And then we're going to run some scales of sheep. All right, so after this, we need to build a basic DNA dictionary, which is... This guy right here, the basic DNA dictionary, which requires four cells and a book. Give me a hopper. Let me fly. I'm going to go... So we're going to have to scrape a whole bunch of cells. Whoop. And then we're going to have to run a whole bunch of cells through these things. Hmm. How do I output this stuff? I'm going to have to read the wiki again, because... I know it said it, I just don't remember. Bloop. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to have to output before this runs. Because obviously this is a cell of a cow, this is a cell of a sheep, and we're going to get cell scales of a, or a cell of a pig as well. Well, let's throw a pipe at it into a chest and see what happens. Can I do this a bunch of times on the same animal? Come back here. Come back here. There we go. Yeah, we could do it on the same animal, but uh, it gets kind of a pain in the ass to dr uh, chase him around. So let's do it on something that can't run away so easily. That seems to work fairly well, actually. Oh, you could kill him. Oh, interesting. Hi. Uh, two more. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, and we got a replacement chicken for the one I accidentally killed by scraping it. Alrighty. So let's throw... Oh, I going to need a chest. I'm going to need a lot of things, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need a chest on top of that. I'm going to need another chest. I told you, I'm totally not prepared for this. I did not do any testing of this. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect from any of this. And I'm just kind of winging it. I've got the wiki open, so that ought to help considerably. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Now we know on uh, the input side is on the top, so that's good. Let's see if the output side is here. Oh no, blacklist ignored, and I need my crescent hammer. Boop. Did that work? Yes, that worked. Sweet. Okay, so now we automated that. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, if I remember correctly, 
like we see how there we still have the organic drop in here um the wiki specifically states that that's how it's going to be there's no way to pull the stuff out of that particular slot so we're just gonna have to live with it uh we'll just have to grab it manually Plop. there we go okay so nice big output chest sell the pig sell the cow cow and i guess we just let this thing run its course so we can get a whole bunch of cells from a whole bunch of different things and what time is it it's not even noon yet i should have done this at night i shouldn't have sleep slept through the night hmm. i wonder how much power this thing uses not enough that's noticeable oh, hang on let's check the other one back here yeah not enough that it's noticeable Whatever. That's why I have a lot of power. So I will let this thing do its thing, and then I will go chase down other mobs, and I will be right back. Okay, I am tired of waiting. We still have a lot left to do. But we've got so many of these cells that we can actually start doing the things we need to do so we can get a book and some, you know, yeah, cells. So one, two, three, four. Hopefully it doesn't have to be any kind of generic cells or anything like that. Hopefully this will just work. Um, I, cr I have a crafting table over here. I get the feeling that this is going to need more than just a crafting table. Or I'm just going to need to make a crafting table at some point. Basic D DNA dictionary. Ooh, but now that the sun's gone down, let's go hunting some mobs. This may be entertaining because I want to grab cells from everything, really. Um, because, honestly, I don't remember the giant list of things you could do with these things. And it was a pretty large list. Uh, where is everything? Oop, skeletons. I doubt it, but let's find out. You can. All right, you're going to die now. Okay, that bow sucks. <laughs> yeah, I may have to look into other things I can do with Tinker's Construct, but that appears not to work. Uh, I heard a spider. Where are you? I don't know, but there are zombies. The spider's probably down there. I'm not going after it. Hi, Mr. Zombie. All right, now you die. So I got a bunch of zombie stuff. Ooh, I want creeper stuff. Actually, I do remember what the creepers do, and I don't think I care about creepers. Alrighty. Ooh, I got a creeper head at least. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, it would be really nice if I could find an enderman really 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 go for an enderman because i do there are two things that endermen do and i want at least one of them i just gotta find an enderman and where are they the endermen never spawn i hate it it's so hard to track down endermen in this game <laughs> well at least for me i never have any luck trying to find endermen um, ooh, there we go. There's a couple. Hang on, let's... Oh, I should have grabbed that guy. Oh, well. All right, so Enderman. No, leave me alone. Thank you. This guy's mask reminds me of Metallica. I believe one is what it's called. Where did you go? There you are. All right, die. Why am I not doing full damage anymore? I should be one-shotting these guys. Why am I... 
What the crap broke? Something broke. <laughs> My sword is no longer as powerful as it used to be for some strange reason, and I don't know why. Oh, whatever. Alright, anyway, so now we got skin scales of a bunch of different things. Zombies, uh, Endermen, Creepers. I don't have any spiders, but that's okay. I'm out of space. Let's throw these in here as best I can, because I'm going to run out of storage space here fairly quickly, since these things don't stack. Though we're doing pretty good. So cow, cow, cow. Uh, chicken, 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 chicken. Hmm. Yep. All right. Now I guess we just let this go for a little while and see what comes of it. Oh, and I did figure out what these things do. The organic drops. Um... If we hit U, it, it, we can use them as fuel, and that's it. Yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah, that doesn't help too much, I guess. Um, whatever. I'm going to go clear my inventory now. Possibly sleep. Ooh, spider. And kill a spider. Okay, I'm back. And these things are extremely expensive. Well, not extremely expensive, but they're annoyingly expensive because the book that you make, that DNA dictionary, um, yeah, the basic DNA dictionary, is consumed every time you use it to make a machine. So, yeah, to make the DNA splitter, you have to make another book. So for all of these machines, all five of these machines, I had to make another book, so I had to use more of my cells. I have a considerable amount of them, at least. Um, so, let's see. I am going to start... I'm going to start doing something. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to... What I'm doing. Um, let us... Boy. Move this chest with all of my stuff in it. Boop, 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 boop. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. We will move this over there so it's really close by. Once this chest pops anyways. But yeah, well this way that all my syringes that I made it before that I made beforehand that I figured would stack but don't will be right here. And I'll know where they are. Yay! I don't know what the microscope does, but it looks pretty cool. Right-clicking right on it doesn't seem to do anything, so well, whatever. Put you guys away for now, and we will start with an Enderman cell. Now, this is telling me I need to put it in the DNA extractor. That's this guy here. And... It will give me, it said a double helix? No, it will return a helix. Which is a double helix. But it's an encrypted helix, so I have to decrypt it in the DNA decryptor. Which I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. So it, this this is decrypting our DNA, which is an interesting thing. Teleporter, save your inventory, basic gene. All right, so we have three things, I'm assuming, that we can pull out of this particular helix. Uh, the last normal step is to put it in a DNA splitter. That's a breeder. That's a combiner. That's a centrifuge. That's a splitter. All right, so we'll throw this in a DNA splitter, and we pick which one we want. We can do the teleporter, which will teleport like an enderman. Save your inventory, which is a really cool thing, and I intend on doing it. I just haven't gotten there yet. Where you can, when, if you die, all of your inventory ends up in this death chest, and it's really cool. And then a basic gene, which I have no idea what that does yet. Uh, so we'll start with teleporter, and this should give me the gene 
outputs the chosen gene and organic drops. Which again, organic drops t seem to do nothing but set things ablaze. So I'm just setting them aside for now. Alright, so we got our gene. We got more organic drops, which I could have probably just left there. Then we have to... After you do put your... Uh, hang on. We need a DNA breeder, which is this guy, because I put them out of order. And it does nothing. Wait, what did I do wrong? The last normal step is to put your helix in the DNA splitter. This block allows you to choose which genes you want from the helix. The output chosen gene and organic drops. After that, you have to put your gene into the right slot of the DNA breeder. You can, that, you can see at the bottom how many other genes you have to put in in the left slot. Basic genes add one state. What? The crap are they talking about? DNA breeder, you can see at the bottom. Bottom of what? There is no bottom here. Yeah, bottom of what? It's telling me, you can see at the bottom how many other genes you have to put into the left slot. Basic genes add one state. The same gene as in the right slot, two. Oh, it's telling me I have to put this in here, and I need 22 other genes. So basic genes. Or if I had more of these teleporter genes, it would add two. So I would need 11 of these guys or 22 of those basic genes that we found, which makes me kind of glad I did this cow thing. Oh my God, this is gonna be slow as balls, isn't it? Cow, because I don't think the cow adds anything. We can find out though. I just wanna do this one. I mean, we can just cow uh, we could just yeah well let's do some enderman get some teleporter out of it i can always go back and get more um oh this is gonna be annoying as crap now if we look in here we can see that there are automated versions of this dna auto splitter uh An auto scraper, whatever that means. All right, I have no idea. <sighs> but it means we're going to have to be doing this a lot. Good thing I got infinite power. Oi. All right, well, I will do this, spend my time doing all of this, and I shall be right back. Oh, this one didn't give me the, the on death gene, the save inventory gene. Huh, I wonder what that means. Okay, so we have completed the teleporter gene. About bloody time. That took like a half an hour. Okay, so next thing I need to do, I need to get a syringe, which I have lots of. And I need to extract my own blood. which for some reason I went blind. I don't know why. And then I need to put the syringe in the centrifuge. And it spins around really quickly, pushing the heavier stuff to the bottom. And then we'll get a centrifuged syringe. And then we combined our teleporter gene and the syringe in a DNA combiner. Uh, okay, do I have to put, like, uh, the syringe here and then the DNA there? Yeah, apparently. Okay. So I was going to say, there's no two on this side and an output, so maybe it's, like, uh, the, the, the DNA breeder where you have your source material over here and then you add to it. All right, so now we have a filled syringe. Um... And we jab ourselves with it. Oh, no, 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 no. After the step, you have to centrifuge your syringe again. 
and then we stab ourselves with it. Yeah. Um, this is not a very sanitary environment that I have built here, but here we go. Stabby. And then I get nausea. For a bit. Okay, I'm all better now. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing. Seriously, I've, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. Um, to the wiki! Okay, I'm back, and I figured it out. According to the wiki, you press H to throw the Ender Pearl, which teleports you rather, but you don't get damaged. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So if we hit H, we get the hat menu. Yeah, no. Go away. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of knew that, so I actually took a look at the controls. Um, if we scroll down to our advanced genetics, we can see the teleport is Y. Um... So, boop. And no damage. Yay! Boop. And you'll notice I don't carry ender pearls. Awesome. Boop. Boop. Oh, I fell in water that time. <laughs> yeah. Boop. Infinite ender pearls. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Though, it's kind of only half of Ender Pearls. I can use them to teleport, but I can't actually use them in building things. Um, so we're half there. And my hearts went away again. Oh, now they're back. What the hell? I don't know. Tinker's Construct seems to have a little bit of a glitch. Um, so yeah, it does that. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that it does including something that I don't remember what it is with the Ender Dragon. Now, most of what I have done, the big stuff, has been on camera, and you'll note that I have not gone to see the Ender Dragon yet. I have no idea where the end is. Um, that's part of the reason why I was complaining I didn't have any Ender Pearls. So, yeah. Um, I might have to figure out some kind of spawner thingamabob to do that anyways what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this off camera because holy crap it took forever is just dump a whole bunch of scrapings through this thing get a whole bunch of cells and then get a whole bunch of these uh helixes um because i mean i i got a bunch of helixes that i can't use i've got the savior inventory that's the other enderman one the infinite milk that comes from cows uh no fall, that comes from chickens. Uh, and I'm, I'm set to go if I want infinite milk. Which I guess would be useful um, for uh, like poisons and stuff like that. That would be kind of nice to have. Uh, but there are quite a few things that I want to fiddle with that I intend on fiddling with. I just haven't gotten around to yet. Because it just takes too damn long. <laughs> uh, I, w I was actually kind of hoping we could go through more of these. But if it takes that long, there's no way I'm going to be able to do more than one of them an episode. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on that. And what I'm actually going to do right now is take a quick break, edit up what I've done so far in this video, and see how long that is. Because I've been recording for maybe two hours now, and I have, what, 15 minutes of video? 
and I don't want to leave you with that short of a video. So I'm going to go edit it up and see how much I have left. Of course, if you're looking at the YouTube time and you see it's got like 25, 30 minutes on it right now, that means that uh, when I come back, it's going to be a see you guys next time kind of thing. So I shall be right back. Hello? I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't. I don't know where I am. I teleported somewhere, and, and, and now I'm seeing this. Am I in the internet? Well, the internet kind of sucks if it looks like this. Nah, I kid, I kid. I'm just screwing around. I'm in the healing orb thing that I built earlier just for shits and giggles. Yeah, so Adobe Premiere is telling me 30 minutes, 15 seconds, or something like that. Um... So, yes, apparently this is the end of our episode. I'm sure there are some people that are disappointed out there, but, you know, no, I'm sorry. I try to keep my episodes around half an hour. Uh, seems to be a good running time for me. Uh, so what I shall do offline is run around, grab a whole bunch more of those cells, or the scales, scales, and uh, run through the system. Ooh, there we go. Run them through the system, get a whole bunch of the DNA, the helixes. Um, actually, you know what? I'll probably just go full-blown and get the genes. So I'll get a whole bunch of basic genes, and then I'll get a whole bunch of uh, these different types of genes. So that we can make them fairly quickly, and we can make them on camera. And then we can inject them, inject myself with them, and see what we can break. Let's see if there's a limit to how these things are built. I don't know if there are, um, but it's time to find out. So I say to you guys, I will. Um, I need to actually like script out my outro here. Um, how do I say this? Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the traditional thing that everybody says at the end of their videos. And I will see you in the next episode. And as always. Keep playing the game and have fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go blow up.